this country, I guess, today I think most of you must be knowing, you know, there's 65% youngsters. India is made of 65% youth, which means you guys actually rule without knowing that you guys are ruling. Whatever is happening in the country, be it any governments come, governments fall, any other things that are, that are happening in this country, you guys are really instrumental. You probably would not be even knowing your strength, but you guys are really instrumental in bringing the change and in what the state of the country is. So all I say, with all the intelligence, with all the exposure, with all your sensibility, be aware of your responsibility. You know, you actually will have to be aware of your responsibility because you can and you are the ones who will bring in the change in this country. So on that note, I'll let others also, you know, give their views of it. By the way, wonderful being here. And uh, yeah, so whom do you want me to pass the mic to? Sir, I think it's only appropriate. Firstly, Pelizola Tani was very impressed. We also got to hear some very odd. I think up next, it's only befitting that I request Sri Khalid Saab to share his perspectives as well. While every speak was in debates, there was nothing else. And there was no way you can express yourself differently. But today's youth, I see and I believe that hunter gathered at some point of time, we became agriculturists, we became industrial people, we became technological people and information age people. We have passed through a lot of phases, but in everything, what probably humane way of doing things. And I think that is what drives Amaya and his colleagues to establish such things that a lot of energy is there in youth. But where is the channel? We don't have the channel. And when the channel is not there, it is channelizing something disruptive. The need of the hour was to get that energy channelized in a way that it becomes go to foreign countries, the way Indians are being looked at, and 30 years down the line, uh, back, the way we were being treated. A lot of change has taken place and a lot of confidence has come in the Indian population itself. So this is the time that the publish newspapers, we do not see them debating on TVs, we do not see, we do not find them in the conventional, uh, what do you say, platforms. So there has to be a platform where their voice comes forward and it is there to listen. And also it is always better to get a perspective which is fresh. We have been brought up in a different, so that when we formulate policies, when we think of doing something, we also look what is there for the youth to say and what are the things that they are advocating. And probably I think that change that we are talking of for better will come. And I uh, wish him all the best. In fact, I remember Majru Sultan Puri here, one of his famous couplets, Ki main akela hi chala tha.